Hey everybody, it's Matthew Rathbun and welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. In this video, we're gonna go through how to use ChatGPT to create a meaningful PowerPoint presentation and reduce some of the stress and anxiety of the first draft. So let's jump into it. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be using ChatGPT to marry up with PowerPoint to create a presentation. And this could be for you as a speaker or a teacher or uh, a real estate agent, which is my focus, uh, who wants to create a relocation uh, presentation for people moving into your area, whatever it is, the same systems will work here. And there's a couple of steps we're gonna to take to get there. Now, I do wanna just drop in, I love Canva Magic, and I think it makes a beautiful presentation. Unfortunately, it still isn't quite there for all the needs that I have that PowerPoint does need or uh, Keynote and Apple for that point. But PowerPoint's our primary focus here. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and, and copy in a prompt I already created. Uh, and again, noting certain things and other videos I've done how to create chat GPT prompts. There's a whole lot of uh, video tutorials about that. So for here, I'm gonna do something simple. You're a content marketing expert working for a real estate firm. Create the outline for a 20 slide presentation for a family moving into Richmond, Virginia. Add content for activities that families would enjoy or people uh, or people on a date. Uh, be positive, whimsical, and upbeat. Now again, it's grammatically a mess, but it's AI. It doesn't need to be grammatically correct. I just need to tell it what I'm looking for in the end result. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter and let it start coming up with its uh, presentation. And you'll see it starts churning away right off the bat. And it's gonna go ahead and create uh, some you know nice slides and what should be on those slides. And we'll get that in a second just to turn away here. And I was probably being a little aggressive here by saying 20 slides. Uh, I, I, what I'm gonna do is pause the video here, let it finish its 20 and then we'll come back. All right, so here we go. We have our 20 slides. It only took a couple seconds, but just for editing purposes, I went ahead and cheated through and uh, just paused the video for you. So anyway, so slide one is welcome to Virginia. And then it starts with Virginia at a glance. And there's a couple bullet points here. These are great. So I like these. I like these a lot. And it gives me the first template. And just a reminder, ChatGPT, in my opinion, is like your, your unlicensed assistant. It's just your intern who's going to be creating some drafts for you that you're going to be using your humanity and your creativity to join together to make something really, really meaningful. So this is just to kind of overcome uh, writer's block or just make things a little simpler. All right, now that I have my slides here and I'm really happy with how they look and the layout, I'm just gonna go to the next step, which is provide the VB code to import PowerPoint for the slides above. Now it's important to tell it for the slides above, so it's not just creating generic code. And VB is the visual basic code. This is kind of the background language that PowerPoint uses to create things. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter here. And when I do hit enter here, it's gonna take me down and start creating this code. And it took a second to cook, so I'm slicing this a little bit so you don't have to watch the whole process. But then it created this gobbledygook that unless you're a coder of some sort or no visual basic, you're not gonna you're not gonna really pay attention to. But it created this for my presentation. So all I have to do now is click on copy code. And again, it gave you the directions of what to do with the code once you've gotten it. It tells you how to get in and edit it. But I'm gonna show you now in the video how to do that. Now I've switched over here to PowerPoint and just for clarification, I am on a Mac. And so on a Mac, the steps are a little different here than they are on a PC. And you can see you can hit Auto 11 and bring up the Visual Basic Editor. Or if you don't have a tab that says Developer here in the top, go into Settings, turn Developer Mode on, and then you'll be able to click on Developer Mode and go down to Macros um, uh, under your tools. On a, on a Mac, you're going to go to Tools and then Macro and then the Visual Basic Editor. So we're going to turn that on here. And I already have someone's working on, but you're going to see this. It's going to be empty here. And over here in the top, you're going to have a button that lets you drop down and say, we're going to create a module. So we click on module, and now we're going to take that code that we copied from ChatGPT here, and we're going to copy this in, and we're going to hit, um, and we're going to hit play. And so I'm just going to hit, hit the play button here, and it's going to create now a new PowerPoint deck with those things. And look, it's here now yes it's white and it's kind of basic this is where the next step's going to come in and they click on this button called designer so under your home tab designer and designer is going to give you some recommendations for slides i find it to be quite good again not the biggest uh, microsoft fan in the world but this feature is pretty cool 
So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and you see it brings in this nice uh, background of a city with some um, uh, lettering there and you can choose from a bunch of different ones. If you don't find a slide you like, you can open up more. And then Richmond at a glance and again, automatically design mode is on and so it's gonna start changing to uh, different graphics and different backgrounds. And so then it's got neighborhoods here and maybe I got this slide. Yes, you're still going to do some editing, but again, AI is always a first draft. It's just to help uh, overcome some creative blocks or to, um, uh, you know, do the ground basic work for you to get there. And they even have these animated things, which I think is really cool. And so I'm going to just dress this one up a little bit. And so if I were to run the slide deck now, Right. If I'm going to run the slide deck now, this is what it looks like. And you, of course, you can automate it depending on your experience in PowerPoint. But that is pretty cool. I mean, I think it's a great start to get us up and going, get those juices running. And then you can just keep going with the designer mode to find different um, graphics that may work for you and keep up your, your templates here. Um, uh, and add to them. So that's it. That's your process. And Good luck. Thanks so much for watching.